because Venti just gives my seat a really good suck. A few moments later. So in relation to the new elemental reactions between Hydro and Dendro called Bloom, today I'm here to explain why you should pull for Kokomi during her rerun. For those of you who don't know, Kokomi is one of currently one of the best, uh, most consistent hydro applicator in the game. It goes well with the reaction as the Bloom reaction spawns seeds. So this is Bloom here, generates a dendro core. Dendro cores will explode after a certain amount, uh, after a certain amount are created or after their duration ends, creating uh, dealing AOE dendro damage. So yeah, uh, she's one of the most consistent hydro applicator in the game. And uh, if you want to increase the quantity of those uh, dendro cores quick quickly, uh, for it to do uh, massive damage by interacting with it with another element, uh, you can see that you can interact with uh, pyro and electro, uh, pyro which is virgin and hyperbloom. Um, so from what I uh, from what I've seen in other videos explaining the reactions, uh, the thing about Bloom is that when the seed explodes, it deals damage to anything in its vicinity, uh, including yourself. So it's like self damage. Uh, but as, as for Hyper Bloom, uh, it doesn't it doesn't deal damage to you, but uh, the core will transfer the homing sprawling shot. So it homes in on the enemy. So it's not gonna do. A damage to you but it's only like a single target uh, well ideally well I'd say Burgeon is like the most uh, the most worth it because it does a uh, because the seed does AOE damage and of course uh, since it does AOE damage you will get hit if you are uh, within its vicinity and that's where Kokomi comes in. Uh, not only she is a consistent hydro applicator, she can also heal you in big bursts, uh, effectively negating the damage you take from virgin reactions. Um, now, as for team comms, I'm not sure. I don't really know how uh, the meta goes. I'm more of a casual, casual type than the uh, uh, than the min maxing meta meta game kind of player. I'm uh, I'm really just here to try to convince you to pull Kokomi on her 3.0 rerun. Um, as for the teams that I I myself has planned, well, uh, it's gonna be like uh, something like Kokomi, and then uh, a Dendro character of our choice, like uh, like Kali or Tainari. Uh, I won't be pulling for Tainari, so chances are it's gonna be like either Kali or the uh, or the Traveler here, uh, and then Xiangling. She's since she's like the best uh, pyro off field applicator that we currently have for Xiangling, and then a Sucrose. So. Uh, it's basic, basically like a Sukokomon team, but uh, you know, re replace replace Fischl with uh, one of the uh, Dendro characters. Will it be better? Will it be worse? I'm not so sure. Uh, we haven't seen like the actual gameplay, actual live gameplay. It's only like leaks, but uh, yeah, I guess I guess we'll see. Um, uh, personally, though, Sucrose is nice because she can provide a good. Uh, Elemental mastery buff and the seeds will, well, also increase the damage of the seeds because well it's an elemental reaction. But personally though, rather than sucrose, I'm actually thinking more of the lines on venti. Um, I mean sucrose is just great. Uh, it works very very well. Uh, but you know venti is just because. Because venti just gives my seed a really good suck. A better suck than sucrose. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, hopefully I was able to convince you for yet another reason why you should pull for Kokomi in her rerun. If by any chance that uh, belly button didn't convince you yet to pull. <laughs> uh, all right. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.